All right, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, a virus scanner for Linux Mint. So I'm going to show you this program. Uh, here's how you install it. You just go into your software manager and you launch that. Now I already have mine installed here. So you, know, you type in clam tk and I've installed it there. If you want to install these other things, if someone is more knowledgeable about clam, let me know in the comments if I should install these too. Sometimes I just install everything and uh and run it from there so you go into your accessories once it's loaded and uh so you, i'll click on that there just to give you an idea what it looks right, like so you go into your software manager in your systems repository this will be on um i know it's on ubuntu oh, club clam C L A. it takes a second for it to load and there it is so this, uh, you can install it in Ubuntu and then also in Linux Mint. ClamTT is a graphical front end for Clam antiviruses. So you usually when I install this, it installs all the extra things that I need in there. You can read all the comments in there as well if you have the repository installed in your Linux Mint system. So to find it, usually once it's installed, it's in Accessories. And you'll see Clam TK, the front end, which uh, just gives you the graphical interface. Now, if you're a command line person, you can do this in the command line, but I like to avoid the command line as much as I possibly can. Now, one thing you want to do in your settings, one thing I do anyway, is I go into the settings and I check off all these boxes um, so that it will, um, because I've I had a few of these boxes unchecked, and then what happened was. Uh, it didn't scan all the files and systems. So this uh, just make sure you got all these checked off. And when I go to scan it, I go to my root directory, which would be my most root directory by this. I do my home directory here and you click OK. And then this window will pop up here. It starts doing a preparing phase. I find with this program, it takes a few, few, uh, few minutes for it to prepare, to get itself ready to do the uh, virus scan. But the nice thing about this is, it will do it um, without, like, uh, you don't necessarily have to virus scan if you don't want to. But I always do this just before um, um, using um, my system. Uh, just make sure it's clear every now and again. So uh, it will go through all your files. This It's a timely process. So there it is going through all the files. It's scanning. It is a timely process, so I tend to do this when, like, right, you know, if I'm going to bed and going to leave the computer on, or if I'm going to be away from the computer for a while, I let do its virus scan then, and then I come back and then I'll delete the files off of the hard drive um, so I don't have it on my system anymore. So that's a, a very good tool. Um, now, some of these viruses, because you're using Linux, won't affect your system, but some of them can allow you to affect other systems so it's good a good practice just not having them on your system uh just uh, i find once i get i deleted a lot of these files it just seems my web browser is running a little bit faster so that's a good thing and also if your web browser it's always good to clear uh clear your uh your catch and your history because sometimes it'll run slower that way as well but this thing here will delete a lot of those those type files that will are likely to be the, the files that will slow down your web browser. Here's my virus program. So here's how I delete a file. So I'll do my scan with the, uh, with the Clam Virus Scanner and then I'll have all these files here. So the only thing I find is you gotta use your mouse here and you have to manually delete each one here. I don't quarantine them myself. I know uh, I used to do that with like the Windows virus programs, but I just delete them. Because I just don't want this stuff on my system at all. So I figure just roll it out and delete it. No, but here in the uh, Mozilla Firefox in the catch, I do find a lot of these Trojan XORD things. And I don't know where I'm getting that from. It's like I'm just going to Facebook and places like that. So that could be um, where that is. I'm going to leave that one because that's just like a Caden Live... Um, uh, DLL file, which I don't think is a really much of a threat. It has adware. Really, I'm not going to worry about that. So when you first get Linux Mint 19.1 Cinnamon installed in your system, you'll be greeted by a welcome screen. Now, if you want to fix the uh, desktop layout, you can go to First Steps and 
you can select under your setups under desktop layout. Uh, if you want the newer version, which uh, Linux Mint 19 has gone with, where they have a larger uh, toolbar at the bottom for the desktop layout, you can um, uh, switch that, or you can switch between uh, traditional there. I prefer the traditional setup, but if you're enjoying that modern one, go for it. I just uh, my preference is the traditional, so I'm glad I found that.